Let's do a little bit troll philosophy, shall we? What culture gaming? 1.69 million subscribers. 10 outdated video game design tropes that must die. All right, these people speak on behalf of the community. They have the platform and they believe that one of the outdated video design tropes that must die is pandering fan service. Okay, this is horrible. This is evil. It is misogynistic. It is hurting women everywhere. My mother now, my troll mother is like, oh, oh, those video game developers are hurting me the moment they draw the booba. Okay, so this is what I want you to get to understand. I am educating you bigots. Once you leave my channel, you will have this understanding that fan service is evil. Which is why they chose this thumbnail. What the what the beautiful ushikushi fan service like thumbnail. What culture gaming? What is going on here? What is going on? According to your arguments, why would I watch your video when I can watch porn instead? That's a powerful, progressive argument. But you know what? I think I know what is happening here. It's a, ah, Naruhodo. I have understood the mystery. Look, watch culture gaming are progressive people. They are so progressive that they get to judge other people. They have found a higher echelon of morality that normal human beings like you scum will never be able to achieve. And that is left-wing social justice activist morality. The best type of morality there is. Which says, you need to speak the speech, but do what gets you money. So speak the speech, what does it mean? Lecture other companies on how to behave. Lecture the fan base on how to behave. But it's very important that in order to spread the message to have money, how do you get money? By putting booba in the thumbnail. That is the progressive, moral, American way. Watch Culture Gaming, you are American patriots. I don't know in what country you reside, but it doesn't matter because you push American imperialism through the American culture. And that is, speak the speech, but do what gets you money. I appreciate that in a fellow YouTuber. I appreciate your cynicism. I appreciate your strong beliefs that venerating the female body is misogynistic, but you're going to do it anyway because, God damn it, it is profitable. I mean, look at those views. Look how those views have gathered in just six days. Mm -mm -mm. Had you chosen a different thumbnail, if you have put the lady from The Last of Us 2, it would have generated fewer views. But you are a smart American. You are a smart, oriented, savvy business person that knows that the message is important, but sacrifices must be made in order to spread. Some women have suffered because of the thumbnail, but that's okay. It's a sacrifice you're willing to make. For others, of course, not for you. You know what I think? Like, if you want gaming to actually progress, we need to put the people at Watch Culture Gaming in charge of game development company. Think about it. All of a sudden, the money that the game company would make would be their money. So then they would care about the game actually selling. Which means that they would lecture you about what a misogynistic sexist pig you are, but they would also give you the booba. They would also put the booba on the box. They would also put the booba in the game because they know that in reality it sells. And all of a sudden, when it's their pockets, then they would say, okay, well, we actually need to sell this product. So, yes, watch Culture Gaming, please, for the love of God, start doing game development. I want you to show us how it's done, because I, I have a feeling you're going to be great at it. And I'm going to look at your product, and I'm going to make the soy face like this. But in the meantime, however, and unfortunately, I have to downvote your video personally. I will have to give it a thumbs down, because... I'm a progressive man, and I think that your uh, thumbnail is a little bit too much. It's uh, sexist. It's promoting harmful gender stereotypes. If I'm going to have a child soon and it ends up being a daughter, I don't want her to see your avatar. I mean, that is a shameful display. I didn't always think like this, but after listening to your channel, your points have hammered through. I am fully convinced that this is not okay. Very, very problematic.
and an important part of being a progressive person is calling out others. I, I don't want to do it, but I need to because I'm progressive. So I need to call you out on this. I need to speak out and I need to encourage other people to speak out that these thumbnails are not okay. Not in our gaming community. So unfortunately, we try to create an inclusive space in our gaming community. And to do that, we have to say no to channel like yours, which use these very problematic big yikes thumbnails that I just can't get behind. So again, my advice, go to game development and be better. And no, I'm not being a hypocrite. I'm not being contradictory. I'm just a troll. And what I'm saying is that a perfect, progressive, forward-thinking, left-leaning, democratic voting society would have people that do the exact same shit that have been doing up till now, but they call each other out. So you get to be a reactionary bigot. You, you get to do everything that you're complaining about, but you just need to speak the speech and call other people out. So I'm calling out Watch Culture Gaming. They're calling out the gaming community. The gaming community calls out developers. Developers call out Watch. Like th this is the perfect society. You understand? This is what we're aiming to achieve, what we're aiming to strive. We're not changing people. We're not changing anything. We're keeping everything the same. You know, the cisgender heteronormative patriarchy, the magical cock and balls in the sky that oppresses everyone. Okay, we're keeping those. But we call each other out. And that, my friends, is what it means to be a true progressive. A man of the future. Forward-thinking individual. With a big red fist pumping up at the sky. Spreading that American cultural hegemony. But anyway, right? I just uh, noticed this very interesting thing. And it's not the first time. When channels that complain about lewdness uh, use lewd thumbnails themselves. And they will probably say, well, it's part of the video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure it is. Sure it is. I, I, I'm... Takes one to know one, right? Wink, wink. But anyway, if you guys like uh, this rant, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if for some reason that even I can't comprehend, you really want to support this channel, you can either give a super thanks a new feature on YouTube, or you can uh, click on the pinned comment, which will take you to my subscribe star, and you can get some of the worst buyer's remorse the internet can provide. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the comment section. Take care.